Yeah. All right. Up next, here we go, Mr. Daniel Ortiz. I brought up the hat so you know it's serious. <laughs> You know, I've always thought it was really interesting that whenever we come out of the womb at birth, we come out crying. Our life begins in tears, but how it ends, now that is a completely different story, my dear. So I may not know a lot about you, but I can tell you a lot about yourself. For instance, your life did not begin in a room. It began when angels picked up brooms and commenced preparing a place where you'll begin to change the world. All right, now I'm just getting tired. You tend to think about what was rather than what will be, but did you know that when you speak, mountains move? I mean, that's mainly because tectonic plate shifts or something like that, but I mean, it's cool to say that happens at the same time, right? I'm, I think it is. But in all seriousness, I understand the rush. I understand the fuss when at life at times you need to throw your hands in the air and give up, but I'm telling you not to, because surprises are prized when we do not see them eye to eye. Now, I can't reveal your future right now, but you'll come to see soon enough that what's in store is so worth waiting for. That there is a destiny that is beckoning at your doorstep. And even when those footsteps take wrong steps and you're kissing the pavement, you need to learn to laugh when you fall flat on your face to remind gravity that it is a force that you recognize, but do not accept. And even when you fall flat on your face, you need to remind yourself that at least you're still moving forward. Even when you fall flat on your face, you need to remind yourself that you're still moving forward. So dust yourself off because the memoirs of your battle scars will be worth something to someone someday soon. And that, that is a promise for me to you. So just wait for the moon to set because a new day has yet to come and one day, one day when you have a daughter or son and they poke at your scars and ask if it hurt, you'll tell them, huh, oh, of course it hurt. But that that pain was not enough to keep me away from seeing your face. What you call a carcass, I call a manifesto that makes Picasso look like a toddler coloring inside the lines. I don't think you understand how precious I see you. You really don't. Your laughter, your laughter is like fireworks in the eardrums of loved ones. Your smile is like a good soup to a funeral of the old you. You have got to stop looking for light at the end of the tunnel and find God in the darkness. I don't think you understand how it doesn't break, but it shatters my heart to see you in pain. So please, bear with me, share with me, care with me, love with me this earth, because you and I now see it for the beauty that it's worth. So what do you say? Just take my hand, hold it tight. And let's begin to change the world tonight.